31 states, including Michigan, have filed lawsuits against Meta, the parent company behind Instagram and Facebook. Their claim is those platforms use tactics intended to get kids addicted to using them. Many parents worry about kids spending too much time online and in apps, but there are a few tools that monitor and control how much time they spend scrolling. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, has the story. Now, the fact is, even if parents use some of the tools to monitor what their kids are doing on their phones, kids seem to always find ways to get around it. But these tools can help. Instagram has features that allow their parents to monitor how much time they spend on the app if they've allowed parents to monitor their account. Now, to see how this works, I opened an Instagram account, entering a birth date indicating I was 17. Within two minutes of opening that account, I received multiple follower requests and two pornographic videos. The supervision feature did not alert me on my personal Instagram account of photos or messages. But parents can choose time limits and scheduled breaks. When the time limit is up, the kids can ask their parent for more time. Monitoring with smartphone features is a better choice. Android devices have family link that gives parents the ability to lock down a device at certain times. But that's only good until the child turns 13 when restrictions are lifted automatically. The child also has to have their own Google account. Apple's screen time allows parents to create time limits for specific apps or games on their child's iPhone. But that does not block them from using the websites of apps if they go into incognito mode, parents won't be able to see what they're visiting online, even if they check. Uh, to block that, parents need to go into restrict content on the child's device and choose limit adult websites. That will prevent them from using incognito mode in the Safari browser. But many kids do find ways to get around these restrictions. How? By watching TikTok videos of other kids showing how they did it. For What the Tech, I'm Jamie Tucker, News 10. In the lawsuit, states are asking the court to force Meta to stop using features that research has shown to pose a risk to young children. Not even